competitors. Oh, well, Lionel, congratulations. You have just won the Challenge Championship. Can you talk us through your race? Yeah, thank you. Uh, well, it started with a terrible swim. Um, it was... Uh, Found out like 40 minutes before it would be non-wetsuit, which of course strikes fear in the heart of the weak swimmer. Um, and admittedly, I lost the mental battle and, uh, and, and it struck a bit of fear into me. And uh, I, then I walk out to the water and I see that the current's coming this way. That's the way we're going into first. And the wind's coming this way. There's a little bit of bumps into it. And uh, I said, oh, you gotta, you gotta shorten that stroke, take a real choppy short stroke. And um, I took that to a whole new level. I think probably had the 100 strokes per minute, new personal best stroke rate for the entire swim. And I probably got like uh, four, maybe maybe four inches per stroke of distance. Wow. Yeah, and uh, it was, it was uh, really disappointing, the yeah. swim. But uh, anyways, I'm a believer that you play the cards that you're dealt, whether you dealt them to yourself or not. <laughs> I like that one. And, uh, and so I had to put together, uh, I knew, knew it was going to come down to the run. And so I, I had to bike as steady as I could. Uh, I knew it was a long shot that I'd even be able to catch the front of the race. So I did that. I think I went through the hour averaging 353 watts, and I went through the finish averaging 354. So that's, that's about as steady as you can go. And, and how did the bike play out with the others? And who, do, who were you seeing at different points? And how, and how was yeah. the, the mental game going in your head? Yeah, and I never really entered the dynamics of the race at all, really, um, until obviously until deep later into the run. Uh, the only guy I knew who probably swam front pack <clears throat> who I caught was Michael Railard. I caught him maybe about 70K or so. Mm -hmm. Um, and I saw Anthony Costas out in the distance because I could recognize his red suit, uh, but he was actually started to put time into me. And so uh, I, I, I took solace that we had a 20 meter draft zone and that it was a fair race and that those guys weren't sucking wheel and weren't sucking motorcycle wheel. And uh, from talking to everyone, it was a very fair race from that standpoint. And so uh, when you have forced the bike and they all biked really hard and when you're forced to do it on your own, well, your run legs are going to suffer, um, as you'd expect. And so I, I, bike, I think I bike pretty smart, and, uh, and so I had good run legs. Yes, well, 